Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, were they telling the truth in that now infamous Oprah Winfrey interview? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London, in my London studio. Now, let me explain. The reason why this has now emerged is it has been confirmed that there are 17 inaccuracies so far in that particular interview. And what's interesting to note, of course, is that Oprah Winfrey really never challenged the royal couple, as we now know. But what's more important is the fact that the royal couple themselves would have seen in print and in the media, plus on air, etc., all of these inaccuracies that they really freely talked openly about and they must have known that these were going to be dissected particularly the one where they got married three days in advance i mean it's ludicrous to think that that wouldn't be checked and yet even oprah winfrey didn't at all at any point challenge that particular narrative now what's emerged is that lots of people are looking at it, particularly the broadcaster who signed them up and now wondering whether they've now really got egg on their face. It doesn't bode well. This was, of course, a worldwide exclusive, a big interview that was going to tell their truth. Well, it appears their truth and their version of the truth differs wildly, as we now know from other senior members of the British royal family including, of course, Her Majesty the Queen, who famously rather pithily stated, some recollections may vary. For now, it appears that there are 17 recollections that may vary from Harry and Meghan's mouth directly to the worldwide media. And if they don't really retract some of this soon, or indeed answer the questions that are now looming, it would appear that all the goodwill that they built up here over, well, just over two years in the United Kingdom and worldwide could evaporate for good. Neil Sean in the heart of London.